Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Magento 2 to recent upgraded version. It's really simple and really quick to upload. You need to follow the following steps. First, you need to log into your server via SSH. Okay, go to admin Magento 2 root directory. And then let's show, let me show you uh, currently I have Magento version 2.1.1 and the recent current version is Magento 2.2.0 okay Magento 2. Point, Magento 2-2.2.0 oh sorry so so this is very simple I'm already logged into my uh, my server via terminal you can use putty if you are using windows so here is here we go we i am already following the steps i have already taken the database backup i have used cpanel to uh, compress backup my all files and i use backend magento backup tool to create back uh, database backup so here you can see i have taken the database backup and all the files backup over here it's really uh, important if if you broke something you can always restore in case you are, you have website ready to go or it's a live production mode website so here we go uh, let's go to step 3 we can uh, download the latest package so I have the nexus pub directory open over here I use this to for really quick download here I can get all the magento versions in one directory so it's really simple and it's really good to use so i'm gonna copy the link address and go to ssh directory so i am make sure i'm in the right place yeah i am so let's download this all right i'm already downloaded I have already downloaded now let's extract it so I'm gonna use extract command so this is extracting after the extract uh, in the, all the file permissions in some server got reset so we need to uh, make sure that we uh, reset the file permission to so that Magento can execute and uh, regenerate their last files and everything whatever you need so here is my file permission reset command which I have already written I can I will put this in the link in the description so that you can find it as well so here I have already got it let's paste it over here this will take couple of seconds to reset all the files in the uh, magento root directory so what it is doing is it is finding all the files uh, and it will set the ch mode to 644 and then all the directory will be uh, ch mode set to 755 after that it's setting the all uh, rewritable files to uh, full permission the read write and execute permission to my var directory and my pub media directory and my pub static directory where all the new css and js will be stored and also uh, in these are the few codes which magento is going to write like uh, config.xml available in this directory so that it can uh, uh, list all the modules available so it's uh, almost processing well it's really simple to upgrade magento 2 but you know you can always take backup before proceeding in case if you break something and uh, if something went wrong you can always restore and follow the steps again Okay, so I am almost done with the resetting file permission. Okay, here we go. I've also uh, exec uh, reset the file permission of uh, uh, 
um, this bin magento so that in case uh, if your command is not running properly you should try this command so let's go to the final action let's copy and paste to magento clean command flush cache command then after that upgrade command and then redeploy command so it's very simple as it is let's wait to finalize everything oh i got some error message something manual static content deploy is not required in default developer mode okay default and developer mode static content are deploying being deployed automatically on demand okay no problem all right it's uh, we have a uh, English mode um, version by default so let's see what we have done so far I'm gonna reload everything it will log out the backend well it's still logged in no problem let's see which version we have got so we have successfully upgraded the magento to recent version okay now it's time to test whether if our how is our front end well I got some issue uh, which is uh, probably uh, it's a extension dependent issue but I'm gonna fix it real quick so guys I quickly uh, relocated the issue I had some customization in my module so it broke and I read came over here and fixed it so here you can see my Magento website is now uh, working again with the upgraded version of the most recent version so that's it if you have any question please comment comment below if I go through it I will Make sure to answer your questions. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.